Oh, oh, Karen. Oh, oh, Karen. How did this happen? That the popular, the popular narrative is. Yeah, the popular narrative is that a, a <coughs> so-called uh, architect artist by the name of Le uh, Leandro Ehrlich um, directed this building. This is the uh, melted building in the uh, Gardenor in uh, Paris. The Gardenor is a great big massive uh, train station, but it's, it's another building that I have to go back into because it's a huge grid component as well. Uh, you can see the back of it behind um, the uh, melted building. But there is no way in a million years that someone uh, you, uh, made this as some kind of art, artistic interpretation. Um, and I'll show you why. Not only the lean, but look, at this. look how blocky it is down here and on the ground in front. I'm just going to... This. Look how the bricks. Yeah. <laughs> You're telling me he did this? No way. Look at this brick work. Yeah. Look, how it, uh, look at the deformation. Mm -hmm. Look how the bricks are deformed at the bottom here, and then they, they still go into rows here. But from this point downwards, as we say, the heat grows from the bottom. It's so hot at the front, the bricks have turned to blocks. The lean of the building. Look, brick, brick lines popping out here. There's no way he did this. No. Not in a million. Here it is with the train station behind it. <clears throat> this train station is grid component. This is grid component. You can see it's clearly uh, not brick flood. This is melted building. It's melted down into the brick flood. <clears throat> over the years, <clears throat> it's been paved. Uh, they've had pavement over the top. If you dig down, you'll find the rest of this building melted and twisted underneath. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and of course, as I gave you the name, you can always go and check it out yourself. The melted building, Garden or Paris. What's inside of that building? Uh, who knows? Yeah, who knows? buddy, that's what that's the money at inside. <laughs> you know, I, I doubt if they even let people go in here. Hell if there is, no. a, if if there's a way in, uh, I don't think there's a way in. I mean, why? Why? I mean, why wouldn't they level that? Like, it's what is it for? It's just in the yeah. fucking way. It's right in front of the train station. What? Why? The, what, what? What purpose is it? There? Exactly. They they mow everything else down. Look, unless it's con unless it's connected to something underneath the rest of that the, building. Look at the melt of here. Look how it's bent, leaning, leaning. You've got a woman in the window. Look, there's no way he did this. The Le Leandro early. <clears throat> there you go in front of the train station. What purpose has that building got? Well, once again, we got we got to uh, try to comprehend why the city would pay him to put a fucking leaning building there. Exactly. Because it's on city property, even in the 1900s, it's not like he did in his backyard, right in the fucking middle of everything. You're just gonna go build something if it has no purpose to be built, for, to serve any purpose, but to take up space. I mean, what, exactly. what, you know? Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll build a leaning building as a tourist attraction for people to come and look at 200 It years generates years. no money, it does yeah. nothing, and it's in the way. Oops, they could put they could tear that down and put a fucking fruit stand and, and sell something mm. you know charge charge rent you can't even charge rent there the fuck it's, it's needed <laughs> okay yeah we, we know okay let's go and see if we can do a reverse image search on this this uh melted building um and it comes right up and we'll go to visually similar images and we can see this melted building and uh so we'll look at these it's only got four sides uh no big deal um now what else can we find um let's see the history of it so we'll do a little uh research into looking up this facility and uh the uh manson fond I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Translates as a house background and is the work by Leonardo Elrich located on the forecourt of the Gare du Nord in the, uh, that's the train station in Paris in the 10th, I don't know what that word is, of Paris, I guess, uh, 
neighborhood of Paris or something, or district of something like that. Anyways, uh, inaugurated woo, on October 3rd, 2015, as part of the White Knight. Um, it represents the Parisian building that seems to be melting and aims to make passersby aware of the effects of global warming and to encourage reflection on the heritage bequeathed to further generations. The title is a play on words with my children. The work is inspired by a building in the, I don't speak French, so whatever that word is, style is located Rue de Grenelle. Um, uh, Mason Fond was dismantled on Tuesday, March 16, 2021. The reason given was the poor condition of the structure. The dismantling was carried out in consultation with Leonardo Eldridge. So, see a little picture there, and there's the references. And then let's go look at Google Earth. Now, the Meltards, we got, uh, this is Google Earth, uh, Manson, uh, Fon, Garrett, du, du Nord. Uh, the train station, let's get rid of this, is right here. You can see the train lines coming in right here. And then we go in and we can kind of get an idea of the uh, little bit of the structure here. And the speculation is that what they're saying, um, as you clearly saw, they are saying that this is a an old world building that has melted in the X factor and that um, the official story, the official narrative, that it was uh, built by an artist is not true. Um, that there is absolutely no reason that you would build, that's beautiful right there, that you would know, there's no reason you would build a structure like this in this place for any reason whatsoever. Now, that, now, let me be clear about this. As you heard, they stated that they believe that this is a melted building and it was not built by the artist in 2015. We also learned that it was removed in 2021 due to structural integrity of the building not being good. Now, if this building was here, okay, 200 years ago, okay, then when I switch this screen, street view here from 2019, which is what I'm on right now, to a different year, let's say May 2008, it should be there. Huh. That's funny. Where did it go? Maybe it's there in 2012. No, it's not there. How about... 2014. Hmm. No, still not there. 2015. No, still not there. 2016. Oh, voila. It's there. So let's go back to 2008. Why not? Okay, we're at 2008. And we're going to scoot up here. We're going to look back. Still not there. Let's go up street a little bit. Look back, still not there, no building. So 200 years ago, when they're saying that the building should be here, the building is miraculously not fucking there. It ain't there. So how in the flying fuck can the fucking building be a melted building if it's not there before 2015, you stupid fucks? Answer me that fucking question. And I'm the fucking idiot? Let's look at something else, too. What we have here is uh, I have two pictures of the dismantling of the building. You can see here uh, Villa de Paris information. Um, to, let's see. Uh, to my demolition dates. Uh, 
3 15 2021 which is the the date that they gave for the dismantling of the building there's the train station in the background here's the building being demolished you can see it's a steel frame building and you can see all the horse shit it's an artistic you can see the facade here so this is a artistic building this is another picture you can see the train station in the background this is the building being dismantled and you can see the facade here it's not even real it's got a steel frame it's all crappy facade okay it may have had bricks on it at one time but it was definitely not melted y'all need to put down the fucking drugs and do some proper fucking research because this shit is ridiculous either there's two things going on here spartan red either one you're so fucking high that you're you have no idea how to do proper research or number two you're purposely lying to the viewers and the community and the shit's gonna end okay this shit's gonna end and i plan on fucking ending it bigs out <laughs> It's the one and only Digo Double G. This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss, man. He's good. In the heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. No.